Hey guys and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the Vuforia plugin for Unity. So what you want to do is to go over to unity3d.com forward slash Unity. Or you can google Unity download. This will take you to the homepage of Unity. And all you have to do is go over to get Unity right over here. So that link will take you to this page over here where you're presented with four options. Where you got the free, the plus, the pro and enterprise versions. For now, we'll only consider the personal version, which we can download for free. And if you scroll down, you can see the features of each package. So what you can do is you can go over here and click download now. If you click over here, you can click download installer and this will download a very small file, which is an online installer, which means it'll download Unity on your computer. Make sure you meet the minimum requirements for Unity. Now, if you want to install Vuforia and Unity on a separate computer or another computer, you can download the offline version of Unity. The reason why you'd want to do this is because you've got faster internet at work or at campus and you want to maybe save some bandwidth at home. So to do that, you should go over to unitytreaty.com forward slash get unity forward slash download forward slash archive. Note that all these links will be down in the description below. So choose the version that you want to download, or you can download the latest version. Now you can decide to install the Unity installer, which is the online version, or you can download the offline editor over here. If you do that, you can install these ones as well. Just make sure you download all of them. This will save you some time later on. Now I'm not going to download them again because I have already downloaded them. Okay, so once you have downloaded Unity, what you have to do is Go to Vuforia, go into Google and type in Vuforia download and then click on the first link. This will take you to SDK download or Vuforia's developer portal. Or you can go over to the Vuforia website, which is https forward slash forward slash developer.vuforia.com and this is the downloads area. Or if you go to the website, you can go over to downloads, SDK, and head over down to download for Unity. You have to make sure that you are logged in to Vuforia. So over here, it mentions that Vuforia enables you to create holographic apps that recognizes specific things in the environment so that you can attach experiences to them. They also have a getting started guide that will help supplement your learning with this course. I recommend you download that as well. Okay, so once you have all those downloads, you should have the Unity st setup, Unity standard assets setup, the web player development, the Vuforia package, as well as an example project. So what, what I've done is I have downloaded the offline installer because I'm installing this on another computer. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the Unity editor. Okay, so let's go ahead with the installation of Unity. You can go ahead and click next. If you agree to the terms and conditions, click I agree. You want to make sure that mono develop is checked. Click next. I'm going to hit... I'm going ahead and installing this on my e-drive because I got more space there. Click install and I'll return when the installation is done. Okay, so once it has finished, don't run Unity straight away because we've got other things to install. So go ahead and click finish. And then we're going to go ahead and install our standard assets setup. And then click next. If the license agreement pops up, click I agree after you've read it. Click next. I'm going to install it in my eDrive where Unity is installed. And wait for it to install. It's quite a quick installation, so you just click finish. I'm going to install the web player development. It'll come up with the license agreement. So I'll agree and let it install. That's quite a quick installation as well. And then I'm going to install the Unity example project as well. So when it prompts you, click next, agree to the license agreement, click next, leave it as is and click install and it will install the example project. And when it's done, just click finish. Okay, and the final package that we have to install is the Vuforia Unity package. So double click on that and let it install. So when it prompts you for the firewall, allow access. Now when you open it up, it will ask you to sign into your Unity account. 
fill in your details and click sign in. So that's how, what I'm going to do right now. It's going to be checking your license. Since we are using the personal edition, click over here and then click next. Read through the user agreement and click I agree. And that should be it. Click start using Unity. So go ahead and click on standard assets example project and it'll start importing all the assets from the package. Okay, so once your Unity editor is open, to see if Vuforia is installed, you can go over down to the assets folder and down to Vuforia and you'll see all the resources for Vuforia. Okay, and that is it for this lecture. I'll see you in the next lecture where we'll get started with making some augmented reality apps. Okay, see you in the next lecture.